Hey, Kaiju here. Today, let's go over the second and the third movie of the Zeta Gundam trilogy. We're gonna do this in 10 minutes, and it's a much crazier ride than the first movie, so hang tight. All right, let's do this. In the last movie, everyone went to Earth to fight the Titans, or the Titans if you watched up. There was a trap. Jabro blew up, Quattro put on his sunglasses, and we find out that the Titans are now in space. Basically, at this part of the movie, everyone's trying to get back to space. The movie begins where the last movie left off. Everyone is still on a carrier plane. We see Beldochka tries to land mid-air on her biplane, the worst choice of plane possible. How many new types does it take to reel in a janky biplane? Three. She immediately becomes Amuro's lover. She guides the group to a secret spaceport to head back to space. Amuro Muro doesn't want to go back to space because he is afraid to see Lala's ghost. And that's why he stayed behind. They arrive at the space station. We see Braun again, trying to stop them from launching. Quattro and Camille load up their mobile suits while Amuro holds back the Braun forces. Amuro then gives Kats Kobayashi a perfect parting gift, a handgun. Quattro tries to go back out to help. Kats immediately uses his new gun to threaten Quattro to go back in. Kats loves his new gun. Outside, Amuro disables enemy units without killing the pilots Kira Yamato style, but then immediately kills Braun by slicing him in half. In the end, Quattro and Kats makes it back to Argama in space. Camille is left behind. We're now in New Hong Kong, where the team on Earth is hiding. They are going to try to send more mobile suits to space. It's the middle of the summer in New Hong Kong. We see Beodochika wearing a Chinese dress, everyone drinking cold beverages, and Camille wearing a turtleneck sweater. We see young Hathaway being an ass to his sister. We meet Ford Murasame. She gets close to Camille to spy on the team. Camille suspects nothing. They get in the car. We find out they both dislike their name. Camille is a girl's name and four is the number four. At night, Camille can't stop thinking about four, so he comes out to meet her again. He finds out they're enemies, but he doesn't care. They hang out on the rooftop where Camille gets to first base. Nice. He's immediately cock-blocked by Psycho Gundam, which started moving on its own, destroying the city. Four has been moving the Psycho Gundam subconsciously, using her cyber new type powers. She gets in the Psycho Gundam and starts blasting. Camille in his Mark II tries to stop her, and is surprised to find out she is a pilot. He tries to convince Four to join him, but fails. Amuro saves him. Meanwhile in space, Bright demands more mobile suits. Meanwhile on Earth, the team is trying to send more mobile suits to space. Four is here to stop them. Camille and Four fight in mid-air. He tries to convince Four to join him again. Again. It worked! But then she pulls out a gun on him. They went back to their mobile suits. But this time, Four ramps herself into the enemy ship and steals a rocket for Camille to get back to space. She's killed in the process. Camille flies through space on the rocket. Argama picks up Camille as he reaches outer space. In space, we see Jared and his new lover, Maura, testing the new gap play, developed by the genius, Optima Shiroko. We learn more about him at this part of the movie. He's a genius recruited by the Titans to lead their forces. He secretly sabotages everyone in Titans as he plans to ultimately become their new leader. His subordinate, Sarah, is obsessed with him, and she's going to carry out his plan. They attack Argama. Jared is surprised to fight Camille again. Jared is scared. Introducing Metis. It's caught by the enemy. Introducing Zeta Gundam. He saves Metis. Jared and Maura retreat. Camille gets to first base with Fa. That's 2 for 2 for Camille. Nice. Meanwhile on Earth, Quattro and Blex try to stop Titans from increasing their influence. Meanwhile in space, Sarah the obsessed girl leaked that Titans is trying to drop a colony onto a lunar surface. Everyone is suspicious of her, but the team decides to stop the colony drop either way and lock her up in the closet. Camille interrogates Sarah. We find out this is all Sirocco's plans to sabotage the other officers of Titans. Katz developed a crush on Sarah almost instantly, which is not recommended in real life and especially not in the Gundam universe. Spoiler alert, Katz dies. Meanwhile on Earth, Quattro wears sunglasses at night. He finally takes it off. Lex, the head of Eug, has been shot. It was an assassination attempt. He makes Quattro the head of Eug before he dies. Back in space, the team is trying to stop the colony drop. Sarah easily manipulates Katz into helping her escape. Katz even takes out his new gun to look cool. Sarah calls Katz a friend and flies off. He's been friend zone. Katz fires his favorite gun in space as he cries. Jared and Mara fights Camille in his Zeta Gundam. Jared is losing. Mara dies trying to protect him. Jared hates Camille forever. He retreats. At this part of the movie, we're introduced with the third force of power. The Axis is made up of Zeon remnants from the first war. So we have Eugo, the main characters, Titans, the bad guys on Earth now in space, and Axis. At a spaceport, the team is preparing to head to Axis. Depending on who they join forces with, it can change the tide of war. On their way to Axis, the team runs into Shiroko, who's also trying to join forces with Axis and decides to attack. Quattro snipes his Mega Bazooka launcher from a distance, but keeps on missing because of Shiroko's new type pressure as he tries to get close to deal the final shot. The battle is interrupted by a barrage of beam attacks from the forces of Axis. Shiroko retreats. Amon Khan, the head of Axis, greets everyone on the team and welcomes home Quattro Bajina, aka Charles Neville. 
At the beginning of the third movie, we are on board Axis. We meet Minerva Zabi, aka Audrey Byrne in Gundam Unicorn. Aman uses Minerva as a puppet to control Axis. Quattro is not happy about this and becomes aggressive. Aman pulls out a gun on Quattro and threw everyone in space jail. The negotiation to join forces is a failure. Quattro ruined everything. In space jail, they try the oldest trick in the book by pretending to fight each other and knock out the security as they come in to stop the fight. It's super cliche, but it actually worked. Everyone then pulled out their guns and started blasting at anything that moves. It was a perfect plan. They escape back to their ship. As soon as they got back onto their ship, Shiroko attacks. Kamio gets electrocuted by the triple Hambrabi. Rekua and the Metas try to save him, but he's overpowered and taken hostage. They retreat as Shiroko successfully meets with Haman. Haman does not trust them. Rekua is now obsessed with Shiroko. She betrays everyone. She becomes his puppet like Sarah. Later, we find out Titan plans to use a weapon of mass destruction, the colony laser. This causes Haman and the Axis forces to ally with Eu to fight out the Titans. Haman is annoyed by Quattro's sunglasses. Aman then meets with the head of Titans, Yamitov. The negotiation failed. She's going to ram Axis into their headquarters. Jerry tries to assassinate her, but fails. Aman runs away in a cloud of poison smokes, ninja style. The Eug and Axis join forces temporarily. Camille meets Jared again on the battlefield. He damages Jared. Jared runs away. Camille fights Sarah. Sarah runs away. Rekoa fights Fa. Rekoa runs away. Camille fights Rekoa. Jared kills Apoli. Camille damages Jared. Jared retreats. Axis collide and destroy the Titans' headquarters. Weaken their forces. Their leader, Jamitov, escapes on the battleship. At this part of the movie, things start to get even more chaotic, as we see more infighting caused by Shiroko. After the major battle, Quattro is on access to thank Haman. The head of Titans, Jamitov, and Shiroko comes to access to meet with Haman after the battle as well. Kaz did not learn his lesson. He wants to steal Sarah from Shiroko and heads to access by himself to assassinate him. Of course he brought his gun. Camille chases after him. Kaz threatens everybody on access with his gun, looking for Shiroko. He runs into Quattro and he put a stop to it. Haman, Shiroko, and Jamitov meet. Shiroko pulls out a gun on Haman in the middle of the meeting. Quattro runs in and shoots at Shiroko instead. Everyone leaves the room, except for Shiroko and Jamitov. Shiroko then shoots Jamitov instead and makes himself the leader of Titans. Kamio karate chops and escapes with Kats. Everything's a mess outside. All three forces are now fighting each other. Haman in her cubele fights Shiroko in the O and his girl sidekicks, Rekoa and Sarah. Haman overpowers them with her funnels. Introducing Psycho Hit, a mind power used by strong new types. Apparently Shiroko also knows how to use Psycho Hit and they stop each other from moving. Kats sneaks up to kill Shiroko, but he shoots and killed his queen, Sarah, instead. Kats is an idiot. He escapes thanks to Sarah as Jedi ghost, I mean new type ghost. But he still didn't learn his lesson. Camille pulls out his big gun to scare him straight. It did not work. Remember the colony laser? Everyone now tried to gain control over it. Whoever controls it will pretty much win the war. It's a huge chaos. So hang tight, it's about to get crazier. Titan's forces are fighting each other. Bass, who we talked about in the last video, is killed by Yazan, who decided to side with Sirocco. Camille fights Haman and get into this weird psycho new type resonance. Zeta beats Haman and Haman retreats. Emma and Katz fights Yazan in Hambrabi. Jerry fights Camille in his bound dog, wrong call it. Mark II combines with G Defensor into Super Gunda. And then Katz dies crashing into an asteroid. Emma does pretty well for a second, but then starts to lose. The captain of the ship who has a crush on Emma risks everyone's lives on the ship to save Emma. And of course the ship gets shot down. Everyone aboard dies. Jerry who's chasing down Camille loses and dies in a fiery explosion with the ship. Emma is in shock. Camille then opens its visor in space to wake Emma up. It worked! The Eu takes over the colony laser. Everyone's still fighting. Rekoa and Yasam teams up by Camille. Emma joins the battle. Emma kills Rekoa. Emma gets hit by a debris and is heavily injured. Introducing new psychic power. Camille slices Hambrabi in half. Emma dies. Shiroko tries to damage the colony laser to stop it from firing. Quattro fights Shiroko and Haman in an epic battle. He escapes. Everyone then gets out their mobile suits to chase after him. It's weird, but hear me out. Alright, let's do this. They have a chat in an auditorium. Haman pulls out a gun on everyone. Camille jumps out of nowhere with his gun and shoots at Haman and misses. Shiroko takes out his gun as well. Turns out he also has a gun. We see Quattro also holding a gun. Everyone's got a gun. Everyone argues with the gun in their hand. It's a stalemate. Right when Shiroko is about to shoot first, Fa ah, barges in through the door out of nowhere. And guess what? Yep, she's got a gun. Of course. Everyone then runs away to escape the colony laser. Introducing being confused in case you wonder where they came from. Everyone escapes. Bright fires the Death Star laser. I mean colony laser. And destroy most of the Titans forces. The Eug pretty much won at this point. In the final battle, we have Camille representing Eug in the Zeta Gundam, fighting Shiroko in the O representing Titans, Quacho in the Hyakushiki representing Eug, fighting Haman in the Kubele representing Axis. Considering Hyakushiki is half damaged, Quacho is doing really well against Kubele. They fight in the battleship wreckage. Right before Quacho is about to get killed, he blows up the wreckage. Haman escapes. No one knows what happened to Quacho until he decides to counterattack years later. Back to Shiroko and Camille. Things are about to get weirder, so hang tight. Shiroko gains the upper hand, but not quite. Camille summons all the Jedi new 
new type ghost to fight with him. Sarah's ghost tried to protect Shiroko. Everyone's pissed off. But then everyone's favorite cause comes in to save the day. Sarah's ghost moves out of the way. Introducing new psychic power. Zeta powers up with new type ghost. Shiroko's confused. They start fighting again, but this time Zeta is way more powerful. The new type ghost stopped the O from moving. Kamiyo rams his wave rider into the O, directly crushing Shiroko on the inside, killing Shiroko along with his battleship. In the end, Ewook wins. We see everyone's happy and safe on Earth. Kamiyo and Fa embrace each other as the movie ends. Whew. Pretty straightforward, right? Let me know if you guys like the movie or the series better. If you like this kind of video, give it a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.